Hey everyone, welcome back to Pop Culturally Challenged. My name is David. This is my beautiful wife, Tony. Hello. And tonight we are continuing with Band of Brothers. This one is episode nine, Why We Fight. What are you thinking? I'm very concerned because mm-hmm. everybody in the comments said this is the worst one. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't even close. I mean, I don't think any comments said, no, that's that wasn't that bad. No, everybody pretty much across the board has expressed concern for your well-being. And Yeah, I want to I wanna say with not meaning, meaning any disregard or any disrespect mm-hmm. that I feel like I just want to rip the Band-Aid and watch this one because of all the just comments. get it over with? Yes. Yeah, the, uh, the worry and dread about how bad is it going to be. Right. Um, well, luckily, I think it's less than an hour, so it's not like some two-hour marathon here. Uh, the longest episode of Band of Brothers. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I don't know. The last time we saw saw them, they were heading out to uh, Germany. So i guessing this is pretty much the end of the war we're going to see. Or? Everybody seemed awfully tired and done with it. So Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm hoping... That a good number of the people on the show that we've we've been watching survive at this point. I mean, I think that's what I'm most worried about is a lot of these guys are not going to survive. Um, I, I actually worried. I was thinking about it the other day. I was like, what if the people that we're seeing are all people that weren't in the show? You know, what if they were like side characters that we never saw and we're just seeing the stories of the people who died? Oh I hope that's gosh. not it. I hope I'm wrong, but I was like, oh man, what if every every character in this show gets killed? Every I didn't even think about that. Thank you very much. You're welcome. <laughs> oh. <laughs> See how Sorry, babe. <laughs> Hey, well, what's your shirt say here? What do you What do you got today? Working got? from nine. No. I don't know if you can see that. Nine to wine. Okay. Not that I'm going to wine, but I should have a drink. I think. Yeah, for this episode, you might want one. Mm-hmm. Okay, you ready to do this? Mm-hmm. Let's do it. All right. Well, if you enjoy this reaction, give us a thumbs up. Uh, comment down below. Let us know what you thought of episode nine. Um, Give it a thumbs up if uh, Tony makes it all the way through. <laughs> show, show her some love there. Um, comment down below. Let us know what you thought of the episode. Uh, subscribe if you're not. And we will leave the link to our Patreon down below if you want to see the full-length reaction to this and every other thing that we've reacted to. And on that note, on with the show. Please, the only good crowd is a dead one. Well, but there was something in there that, you know, hey, there was a kid. Most of them were kids. We all were kids. A lot of those, a lot of those soldiers, I've thought about this often. That man and I might have been good friends. We might have, we might have had a lot in common. We might have liked to fish, you know, he might have liked to hunt. Of course, they were doing what they were supposed to do, and I was trying to do what I was supposed to do. But uh, That's a really good point. under different circumstances, we might have been good friends. Wow. That's a very good point. Yeah. That's what kills me. Even going through what they've gone through, they still find compassion in other people. Yeah. Okay, we're getting towards the end of the war. I don't remember the exact date that it ended in in uh, Europe, but it was like May, I think. God, look at that. I wonder, like, after the war, how long did it take for things to get back to normal for all of these countries that were, were take, you know, took part in it? I'm imagining at least close to a decade before, you know, because you're pretty much rebuilding entire cities. Yeah. I just want to talk. You stay in it. Huh? Okay. Hey, look what I got. Hey, Lonnie, why don't you leave her alone? Frank, why don't you just leave me alone, okay? Frank just keeps talking. I got two packs. You give it to your friends or something. Why don't you come sit down? You want to sit down? Yeah. Hey, Frank. Hold on. Hey, Captain Nixon. Maybe we jumped into Berlin. The war's over. Yeah, huh? Did she slap him or something? I guess so. What happened? No dice with the fur line? No dice. She smacked me in the mouth. <laughs> Germany's looking like it's going to be pretty good fraternizing territory, huh? 
<gasps> oh. <laughs> sir. <laughs> Where's my stop? I, I thought I'd leave it over there, sir. How high the doorknob was, you know, son? Mm -mm. It's like way up here. Whoa. He's pissed. Mm-hmm. I don't know what kind of whiskey that is. It's still made. How do you know it's whiskey? It said whiskey on it. I can see a little VAT 69. Congratulations. You're probably the only man in the 101st. Three combat stars over his jump wings. Not bad for someone who's never fired his weapon in combat, huh? Really? How'd it go? This morning, the jump. It's great. I took a direct hit over the drop zone. I got out. Two others got out. The rest of the boys? Oh, they blew up over Germany somewhere. Oh, well, it wasn't me. Oh, man. Mm. What do you say? Tastes like poo poo. Mm. Yeah, Rocco just finished it. Oh, yeah? Any sex in it? Ain't that kind of book. I wonder if that's a real book. I don't know. No, I've never heard of it, but sure it probably is. A tree grows in Brooklyn. I'll have to look it up. Yeah, he's he's burned out too. Captain Nixon, good to see you, sir. Why do they put their ties inside their thingamajig? So it doesn't fly around or get stuck in something. I'm having some trouble finding some whiskey. Gotta be honest with you, sir, that ain't gonna be easy to find here in Germany. Yes, you have news? What news? 300,000 Krauss just surrendered. Is that the guy who plays Venom? Uh, you know you haven't seen that, but... I have no idea. Jesus Christ, the dog? Look, the cat's is divorcing me. I'm sorry. Oh, man. Why would anybody do that? I'm taking the kid. She's taking the dog. Not even her dog. It's my dog. She's taking my dog. Why would anybody do that? She hates that dog. Why would any woman leave her husband while he's out at war and take his dog? What did you say? Literature. I love to read. Do you? Yeah. Dick Tracy, Flash Gordon mostly. <laughs> Comic books. <laughs> Chesterfield Kings, those cigarettes. My grandparents used to smoke those. <laughs> Who knows they still make them. They just invaded someone's house? Yeah. Why? They need some place to stay, I guess. Holy moly. Uh, I think those are the 300,000 that surrendered, it must be, that they were talking about. I don't know. You stupid trap bastards! That's right! Look at you! You have horses! What were you thinking? <laughs> You have horses? What are you thinking? Dragging our asses halfway around the world. You ignorant, servile scum! What the fuck are we doing here? Those look like boats. They are. They can drive into rivers and cross. Oh. <gasps> oh, shit! That's one way to deal with them, I guess. But that wasn't the Americans killing them, right? No, I don't know who that was. Hey, George. Uh, kind of reminds you of Bastogne. Yeah, now that you mention it. Except, of course, there's no snow, and the trees aren't fucking exploding from crowd artillery, <laughs> but yeah, Frank, other than that, it's a lot like Bastogne. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> Hello? 
Somebody's in the house. Uh oh. Looks like somebody important in the German. Oh. Army. This just feels too calm, like... Sure is quiet. He is right, fellas. <sighs> Something burning? Don't tell me everybody else got killed. Hey, join us. We came across this. What, 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 what? Frank, Frank, what is it? I don't know, sir. Those people? It looks like it. Oh my god. It's a concentration camp. Open it up, sir. Stand back. All right, boys, these people need care. Give them water and any spare rations you might have. Grab me some blankets, quick. Dick? Said the guards left this morning, sir. They burned some of the huts first. Mitten Gefangenen immer. Well, the prisoner's still in them, sir. Alive. Jesus Christ. They killed as many as they could before they left the camp. What king in the east of the behind them and headed south. Someone in town must have told them we were coming. Look at their arms. Like cattle. There's so many. Oh my God. spears and figure out how the hell to give him some food and water. We need to stop giving these men food right now. We give them too much to eat too quickly, they'll eat themselves to death. We need to 
keep them in the camp till we can find a place for them in town. We need to keep them centralized so we can supervise their food intake and medical treatments. Oh my god. Can't tell them that, sir. Got to, Joe. Yes, sir. I mean, I, I understand. They can't just let them eat. In... The locals claim that uh, they never even knew the camp existed. They're going to have a hell of an education tomorrow. General Taylor declared martial law about an hour ago. Ordered every able-bodied German in town aged 14 to 80 to start burying the bodies. Oh. Is he drunk? I'm guessing so, yeah. Turkey, sir. What? Why are they bringing these people? Thanks. That's what he just said. There, any able-bodied person from the age of 14 to 80 has to come dis help dispose of the bodies. I guess I didn't think that they would bring civilians in. Yeah, that's what they said. I, they were I understand taking over the whole town. Now. Thank you. Martial law. <laughs> Oh, you people claim you didn't know this was going on? They must have known, right? How could they not? Oh, that's... That's that lady whose house he was in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, keep, keep working. Hitler's dead. Should have killed himself three years ago. Saved us a lot of trouble. <laughs> Jesus. And that's why they were fighting. All right, so that was episode nine, Why We Fight. What'd you think? That wasn't what I was expecting. Yeah. I, I was expecting, you know, like, battles, and you know, things like that. Mm -hmm. and, and as the show kept going on, it was, like, almost eerily calm. Like, okay, mm -hmm. I thought this was supposed to be, like, the, the bad episode, or, you know, the this is episode nine right and yeah then wow i i that, that just wasn't what i was expecting at all no i feel like i've gotten emotionally attached to these soldiers mm -hmm. soldiers mm -hmm. and i expected them to be hurt yeah i i think they probably uh you know, all the war and stuff like that that they saw, the battles and fighting and that is one thing. But to, to come on that, I mean, these guys literally saw everything. How these people ever functioned in society again, I, I don't know how they did it. I I mean, the, the horrors that these guys were at every, you know, it just, yeah, it, it blows my mind. I mean... Can, how can you erase that from your head? I, I yeah, I, I don't think you could. I mean, I, I don't, I don't know how you could. It's just, I, I don't even know what to say. I mean, yeah, I, I feel, I feel so bad for these guys. You know, everything that they've, that they've gone through, everything that they've seen, and. You know, well, serious thunder there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, everything they've gone through, everything they've seen, it's just, I don't know how they did it. That so. was, that was extreme. I. Yeah. Almost numb, like, you know. I've heard of the concentration camps. I mean, I've uh, I remember reading about them and all that stuff. But I think to actually see them, you know, it's much like the the battles and things like that. You know, to actually see them unfold in front of you, see them in your own eyes, it's 
It's a totally different. Yeah, it's just. This was in forty four, right? Uh, this would have been forty five. So I think so. Now they're heading to. They said Hitler just killed himself, so. The war is the war in Europe is almost over. So. The. All that they saw, I just. I can't even imagine. Yeah. Yeah, I don't. I. I don't know. I I really hope in the next episode and the. And uh, the bonus episode that, you know, we find out that these guys, at least had, decent, you know. <laughs> decent lives has found some happiness in their lives because I would hate to hear that you know they just they struggled with PTSD and nightmares for the rest of their lives you know for the next 50 years I I, I really want to know that, that something good happened to the for these guys anything yeah. you know so um, going back to my previous comment on who could file divorce papers on these guys mm -hmm. um I guess you don't know what you don't know, but I feel that that, I mean, they were out there fighting for our freedom, mm -hmm. right? And I can understand why he wanted a drink. Yeah. Yeah, I really hope he found some happiness and, you know, didn't end up dry, you know, dying from alcoholism or you know getting in a car accident or something as soon as he got home because he was drunk driving or something I, I mean and there's always two sides to a story you know I, I get it I just um, all that they were going through to add more onto it to me is just in poor taste yeah yeah I'm wondering if they're going to address that on the next episode or the one after that what, what happened there because that guy, he's, he seems just done. Yeah, that makes me sad. Yeah. He is so spent, so done, and yeah. So. Well, you got through the through the toughest episode. I, I really, truly hope that that was the worst one. And it mm -hmm. wasn't like, ha ha, we tricked you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Just, hey, <laughs> just yeah. kidding. <laughs> yeah, that's the lead up to the hardest episode. No. I I really, from the from all the comments, I think this this was the the hardest. And and just watching it, I I think it was a different level of like I think Bastone and uh, the one after it, episode six and seven, I think were more intense because of all the fighting, the explosions, the getting shot the at, the chaos. Yeah, the chaos. I think the intensity was very greater, but this one, the emotional just. Yeah punch in the stomach draining yeah it, it was it was definitely the saddest episode so i agree i agree that that's that's the difference between them yeah yeah yes well you got through it i'm proud of you you know you, you've seen it now and we've got one more episode and then the uh then the bonus episode so i'm hoping this last episode is going to be reasonably happy i mean this is going to be the end of the war they should so. be happy to come home right yeah uh but i hope they don't get treated like rambo did and people being ugly to them i don't think that happened in world war ii i don't think that happened to those vets all right well anything else you want to say about it no i think it's time to call it a night all right well if you guys enjoyed this episode please give us a thumbs up give us a thumbs up to uh Show support for Tony for getting through the episode. Um, comment down below. Let us know what you thought of this episode. Was it the hardest one for you? Um, what did you think of it? Uh, subscribe if you want to join the channel and you know follow along on our journey through pop culture. And it's free. Yeah, it's free to subscribe. Doesn't cost a thing. Um, and you might get a some laughs out of it yeah yeah 
<laughs> you never know. When so, it's a happier movie. Yeah. So, yeah, we'll leave our uh, link to our Patreon down below if you want to join and check out our full-length reactions to everything that we've reacted to. And we will see you next week. Bye. Bye-bye.